here everyone. This is Lightstar. I'm really excited to talk to you today because today we're going to talk about the energies of 2014 and the energies of 2015. And I want to look at these from the aspects of what we're moving out of and what energies we're moving into so that there can be that sort of flow and ease and grace in our lives moving forward. So as we look at last year, and a lot of you will want to just take a nice deep breath and just kind of release a lot of these energies. Not that they were necessarily bad energies, but the energies were very deep and they were very intense. Let's just say that. A lot of intense energies that were happening. And I want to also look at the global scale of what 2014, um, spiritually speaking, as well as uh, what was just happening on the planet, we saw a lot of transparency, uh, things that were coming into transparency. And so a lot of the hidden truths were coming out, a lot of discoveries were coming out, and things that were hidden, um, and I mean things in the government, things uh, on our planet, things that we uh, have maybe shuffled underneath the carpet, so to speak, we're now kind of lifted off and dusted off and uh, bringing it to the surface to be cleaned and cleansed. So I look at this from also the numerology, which is uh, 2014 was a seven year in numerology um, overall, meaning not your personal years, but just your overall year uh, for, for all of us. And that basically means that there's a lot of intensity. There was a lot of under the surface. And it was a very spiritual year too for a lot of things happening spiritually, but there was a lot of uncovering that needed to be done. I feel it was more of an inner year um, for things to kind of go in, go within, do the work, and then things come out into the open. And that was a really important thing for us to go through uh, globally, humanis you know, humanitarian-wise, as well as it was happening in our own lives. There were a lot of people going through some very deep transformations. Um, but in order to go through those transformations, the things that have to be revealed first need to be discovered and need to be looked at and need to be analyzed. So there's a lot of analytical stuff happening. And now I feel we're moving into 2015, which is actually coming out of the seven and going into the eight year. And the eight year is really exciting because that's actually about abundance. Um, and it's about us releasing some of this old stuff and moving into that place of final healing. And that's where we all need to be going anyway. And now as a global, I believe humanity will be moving towards that and into a much better place because we've all looked at our stuff and we're still continuing to look at our stuff, but now we can kind of move out of that deeper, darker, heavier period and into somewhat of a lighter period and into accumulation of some uh, prosperity for a lot of us. I feel that we're going to be moving into that phase. So let's just, you know, celebrate that because that's a very, very exciting time. Um, this has all been exciting times for us. And I, I feel as we move forward into the next few years, um, there will be, you know, the roller coaster rides as usual. There's going to be all of that. But I do feel there's a culmination point to where we are going through that process of ending a whole uh, paradigm, the old paradigm. And in order to move into the new paradigm, we have to do some of that sort of reveal work and deeper shadow work, if you want to say it like that as well. So now that we're going to be moving into that, um, it's going to be a time where uh, I would say more of an even celebration year. And it, in, it will hit, I believe, on a lot of areas within our own lives as well as on the humanitarian. So things will continue to be revealed. Things will continue to come up to the surface for uh, further looking under the microscope to be transparent now. That will all still happen. But I feel we also will move into that lighter period finally where we get some uh, growth level in what we've done in the last couple of years, especially. So it's um, so that's really cool. 
Uh, I actually even pulled a card from my uh, Magical Dimensions Oracle card deck, which is actually an Oracle card deck, as well as um, doing them for activators. So I pulled a card from my deck because I wanted to see what the overall energies were for 2015, um, just to kind of get more clarity on that. And uh, I'll share with you what card I picked. Um, this is actually from my Magical Dimensions Oracle card um, deck, and this is what they look like on the back, although I'm revising this. Um, but the one I, the card that I picked for 2015 is Sanctuary. I'll let you see it a little close. It's called Sanctuary, and it's about healing and comfort, faith and restoration. And as you can see on the card, um, it's got a picture of an angelic, um, similar to Archangel Raphael, and that is what the card energies have um, for their energetics. But I wanted to share the guidebook that is coming out, which I just finished, and there's going to be new packaging on my cards and everything for all of it with the mini guidebook. And I wanted to share the page that talks about this card um, because it was so important. I mean, these cards have been so accurate. It's been crazy accurate. And I just wanted to share this um, with you. So what the card actually uh, has, a each card in the deck has a celestial interpretation and then an oracle interpretation. And these two are, you know, help you to understand them from the higher perspectives as well as just from the sort of oracle and what you need to do kind of perspective. So I'm going to read this and, and all my images that I create are actually connected with uh, sacred color rays. And this particular image is, is connected with what's called the violet fern color ray. So sanctuary resonates to Archangel Raphael's sacred healing colors and recalibration of the body, mind, and spirit back to its true divine nature of purity, wholeness, and light. Holding the wisdom of timing to lay down the sword and shield and allow for the new. The newfound frequencies will purge and reformat old patterns and systems and in place overlay a soothing balm of divine sanctuary. Call upon the power of self-healing from within. And now I move into the oracle interpretation of the card. This situation calls for healing in all forms, including wounds of the past. And it is not on the battlefield that you will be victorious, but rather in surrendering to divine will. Have faith in yourself and in the divine intelligence that has a plan for everything, including your own growth and healing. If you need a time out, take it. Call forth your angels to assist in the healing process. Allow your healing abilities to come forth now. And this card also resonates with uh, specific crystals that I channel that come through, as well as an essential oil. And there, there are also tools that you can use along with side the cards that I have. This particular one resonates with Peridot and Chrysocolla, and also the essential oil of Spearmint. And why I feel that was important is because uh, not that, you know, there's more energies that are coming forth every single day for all of us. And they're different and they change and we're, they're different based on our individualities. But there is an overlying uh, plan here and that moves us along in synchronization with the universe. And we also go through a lot of general things together as a whole, as a collective and as a unity, since we're all so connected with each other. And so it's important that we know what energies we're also working with on those higher levels. So as you can see, we're dealing with uh, a lot of healing energies coming in, finally, to let us take those wounds of the past, those old thoughts and processes of, of fighting and battling and all of that, which is great for the time that you need to do that. But sometimes it is about laying down the sword and actually just going within and doing the healing work. So things that have come up from this, the surface that needed to come up from last year, now we get a chance to actually finally heal them and move forward, move forward in the way that we want to move forward. 
So I just wanted to share that and I want to, I really want to wish you all well in this 2015 um, beautiful year of light and just gorgeousness, if, if I want to say. Um, I'm really excited to move into that with you. I wanted to also share just a brief, uh, a few things, announcements about um, some specials I'm offering as well as um, my new products. So uh, one thing I want to share, my, my Magical Dimensions um, Oracle and Activator cards are actually finished and completed. You can buy those on my website, just the cards. But I just finished revising these cards and so the back will have uh, different colors. Uh, they will also come in different packaging and they will come with the full 130 page guidebook that individually goes through every single card just as I read to you on, on this about this one card, but it also goes through all the rest of them. And um, it also has specific layouts for Oracle readings. There's some suggestions uh, for layouts there. There's also suggest multiple suggestions for using the cards as activator cards. So that's a little bit different, and that's why my cards are very unique, as they can be used multi-purpose. It's not just for Oracle cards um, and readings, but you can also do your own individual activations, and I have some really great layouts in there for that. Um, and so this will be available very soon. If you're interested, please let me know. You can uh, check all my products out on my website, which is lightstarcreations.com. And you can send me a message if you're inquiring about the new deck, which isn't on there yet. Um, by the time this video comes out, it might be. But if it's not, just let me know, send me a message. Um, I will be, a, be able to take some pre-orders on those as well. But I'm um, very excited for that. The other exciting thing is my, called Dimensions 3 to 2015 new calendar. Okay, so this is a calendar and there's the back and front and it's got all 12 actually the first card or the i mean the first uh image is actually the, is the sanctuary so um so you can actually get that but there's full color on all pages of the deck so all of them have 12 different designs for every single month and you can go onto my website and order this right now. It's available, so you can check that out. It's available in two different sizes as well. And lastly, what I wanted to share was I'm doing offering some specials on my website right now, which is my celestial channeling via automatic writing is going to be a special offer. And what this is is basically where I tune in uh, directly to your guides, angels, and star beings that are around you. And I will channel that information of messages that they want to share with you via automatic writing. And so you receive a complete transmission, written transmission via email of the uh, messages that are coming through you. And, and it also includes, um, they do some profound healing through me for you at that same time. So uh, it actually has a twofold effect. And what I'm offering is that session um, comes in uh, two different forms. There's a three to six page, uh, roughly about that um, transmission, and then there's a three to nine page. And so I'm offering the three to nine page, which is the more comprehensive one, for $130, and it's normally $260. So that is going to be the special offer that um, you'll want to get. You know, I'm going to be doing this through January, through the end of January. So that'll be, it's basically for the Happy New Year and it's also for my birth month, which is January. So wanting to offer that special to you so you can go onto my website. And again, it's called the Celestial Channeling via Automatic Writing Session. And it's gonna be the, uh, the three to six, uh, I'm sorry, six to nine page that will be for 130, um, which is normally 260. And the other awesome special that um, myself and Stands With Bear is offering, we have a session that we do together and it's called a Activational Co-Creative Therapy Session. And that's where the two of us combine our really powerful gifts and talents and energies into a session just for you. So this session is uh, a two hour session and it's very in depth. Um, within the healing and the intuitive gifts and the messages and the channeling and all sorts of things that come through there, depending on your individual uh, case. 
and that uh, session is normally $300 for the two hours and now we're offering it through the month of January for $260. So these are really great specials and you want to get ahead and get those so you can get scheduled in with us and we'll, like I said, be going through the end of January with these specials. And so go on to my website, check it out. They're all on there under my sessions. Um, you can check out the products that are under the product section and send me a message with any questions that you might have about anything. And uh, just wanting to say once again, uh, Happy New Year in this 2015. And I wish you all the most blessed and joyous and abundant 2015 uh, for all of you. And I want you to connect with your own higher self and your own guides and angels. And I want you to really focus on bringing in um, your true desires and your true dreams into reality in this new year. So again, wishing you all blessings. Namaste.